no one told me that sunnies would just mean mail. I feel like I run a kinkos. I got a lot of book mail yesterday. I feel like you might want to see some. Death of My Landscape by Elvia Wilk. I'm actually reading Oval by Elvia Wilk right now, which is a novel. This is a collection of essays and it sounded really interesting. Another upcoming release from Soft School is Novelist by Jordan Castro. I know Jalen read this. I think it's kind of like metafiction about an author writing a novel. So it sounds kind of thinky and sad. And then I got Hurricane Girl by Marcy Darmansky from Knopf. Um, my dad actually read this. <laughs> I have an arc of it too and he, he read the arc. And then I got Don't Say We Didn't Warn You by Ariel Delgado Dixon because I didn't own a physical copy myself. And this is the Sunnies June book club. I'm gonna be rereading this in June. And lastly from Knopf, I got the new memoir from Selma Blair called Mean Baby. I don't think I asked for this, um, but I'm happy to have get, gotten it anyway. I like Selma Blair. I've been following her MS journey on um, social media kind of tangentially, so I might give it a try. Kind of an impressive situation. There's an incredible amount of boxes in the house right now, which is leaving me a little discombobulated. Uh, it's strange to have a house feel like really put together and stable, and you are purposely undoing it. feels weird. Maybe here's a better view. I think that's almost every book I own. And then this room's just becoming a disaster pit too. Ugh. It's lunch. I am going to the post office. I really want a breakfast sandwich. Some fucking feral for eggs. Okay, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Feral for eggs. Do you want to see my outfit? Um, it's a black, yeah, this is helpful. It's a black oversized shirt, poplin, which is another word for cotton, and jeans, and some ankle socks and pants. I'm not sold on it. That's where we're going with. I need my hair dyed. Uh, okay, I'm gonna bag up all this shit now. Trader Joe's haul. <laughs> Tart and brie and tomato flatbread. Yeah, I'm on dairy. Um, truffle Cheetos, very good. It's my second bag. Two packs of the mango, cheapest, best dried mango in the world from Trader Joe's. Uh, I got miso ramen. <laughs> I'm not a huge ramen guy at home. I'm gonna be honest. I got these uh, little date balls. This one's filled with hazelnut. A Nutella moment. What? What are you whining at? What are you whining at? Oh, 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 oh. oh he's so spoiled. Oh, he needs attention. Oh, the boy needs attention. I see you. I see you, water lemon guy. Some mixed nuts, olive and herb. Some frozen chocolate chip cookie dough because it's like <laughs> you being crazy, girl. A bean and cheese burrito for lunch today. What do I heat it up to? 350. I'm starving, Marvin. And then I got two mangoes because it's mango season and I'm addicted to them right now. Last but not least. Some sea salt butterscotch caramels because I need a little sweet treat to end my day. Well, that's about it. I had to pick up the hats, so it was near Trader Joe's. You guys, where I'm moving to in Arizona doesn't have a Trader Joe's. And that sucks ass. <laughs> um, I would say it's a frequent 
snack decision from me. You know what I mean? The podcast with Jalen today about acts of service and I need to like look at my candle, look what I highlighted and make some talking points for myself. I'm gonna be honest, it has already left my brain and I've reread that book twice. I would say it has no staying power. That's my critique of that book. I didn't own a lip fic hat, I guess. I just looked through my closet and I couldn't find one. So I probably sold the one that I saved for myself. Um, but like, do we like it with the hair a little bit out? Or hair behind the ears? I know this is like groundbreaking content. I think hair behind the ears, right? Ugh, I don't know. I'm gonna ask the book hotties. Friday. <laughs> I have to show you the tripod I got because it's really funny. Oh my God, this butt is so cute. You think? <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna take a long lunch and do a return. Something kind of crazy happened. We sold out of the hats. The lit fit and the unreliable narrator in one day. I've already ordered more, but that is intense. Thank you for your support. Me and Jalen had a discussion about acts of service yesterday live on his podcast. I think I mentioned that, I'll link it down below. It was fun, we chatted, it caused some drama, as per usual. And I think that's my only bookish update. I'll check in with you when I'm home about the novel I'm currently reading, because I actually think it's giving Lauren Euler fake accounts and more people need to read it. Stay tuned. <laughs> my love language is acts of service. Therefore, every day before he, he comes home, I try to vacuum the house so he knows I love him. <laughs> but his love language is words of affirmation and quality time. And I don't know how to do either of those things. Picking up what I'm putting down, guys. Picking it up. I guess I'm going to tell you about Oval by Elvia Wilk. Um, essentially a near future dystopia novel and it's really giving me the main character of Lauren Euler's novel, Fake Accounts. It's set in Berlin, so. The main character works in a science lab and her and her partner are essentially housed on this artificial mountain that's supposed to be in like an eco housing development in Berlin and the house is like falling apart. Um, but contractually, I don't think they're allowed to talk about it so their house is falling apart and they're kind of like living in this this sham of like eco capitalism and kind of perpetuating the the lie and like living in a greenwashing experiment which i really like but it's not really over the head um the the themes at least or or that that's their their thought process it's more just explored slightly through all the different character interactions. There's also a subplot of the main character's partner whose mother just died. He's American and he just came back from the funeral and he's really repressing any kind of emotion regarding his mom's death and it really bothers our main character and she's trying to like understand how to best support him and be a good partner in the wake of his mom's death so i think something is going on there and i kind of remember lightly oh, from the <laughs> i kind of remember lightly from the blurb that i think like oh my god anyway i kind of remember from the blurb i think a medicine or like a pharmaceutical is about to get looped into the plot about kind of dampening emotional experiences. And I kind of think that's what the boyfriend is going through. It's snarky. It has a lot of like commentary on fake 
computer jobs like the boyfriend works at a, some kind of like agency setting where he's a consultant on like marketing activations which is funny because that's uh basically what i do for work <laughs> so i love being dragged that way and then there's also was a great great club scene of the main characters being on drugs in berlin and i really liked that because it felt really realized and it was something they put up their butts what drug do you put up your butt in germany <laughs> Let me know. I don't think we do that in America. I mean, you can put ecstasy up your butt, right? But I don't know, because it's like a suppository, so it works faster, but I don't, I've never, I, I don't do that. Overall, I'm just like really enjoying my time with the novel. It's like just plotty enough for what I needed right now. And smart and rompy at the same time. Hey guys, I got some book mail, so I wanted to show you my book mail. Let's open it live. Unboxing. Okay, it's from PRH. PRH. I bet it's Knopf. I bet it's Knopf. I bet it's Knopf. Ooh, yay, it is Knopf. And it's the new Nell Zink. I read a Nell Zink book back in the day. What was it? Misled, I think it was. And I liked it. Wow, this is blurred by JF. Mr. Jonathan Franzen. Yep, mislaid. That's what I've read. And I think Rebecca read this recently and liked it. So, thanks. Come out. Divergent lunches. Divergent lunches. <laughs> Still going. Hey everyone, it's me, CJ. I'm in the Best Buy and I'm trying to buy a phone and I'm not an authorized user on my mom's account, so it's really hard because I'm still on my mom's phone bill. Um, if you ever just wandering around at Best Buy by yourself, filming yourself, would recommend. I think I'm gonna go for the iPhone Pro Max 13, everyone. <sighs> trying to buy all of our electronics before we live somewhere where we don't have sales tax. Not ready to say goodbye to this? No, I think I still need them. It's got a nice custom slit in the back. You know what I actually think is, is you could uh, take up sewing and you could fix them for me and that would be a real nice present. Delicious dinner. I've never had that kind before. It's a little early for dinner, don't you think? Six o'clock? Wow. I wonder if I'll start using this camera more than my vlog camera now. Why? I don't know. It has like the same quality. You might notice it a little bit different once you upload though. Yeah, that's true. Hey guys. I think I look uglier in this camera. I doubt that's true. You're totally beautiful. I think I look more feral. Good morning, happy Sunday, happy unboxing. I've been a crazy girl, been shopping so much that I don't even remember what I bought. So let's unbox together. It's from Korea. I literally have no idea. Oh, it's my new balance I bought. I bought these on StockX which is so stupid of me, but I had to have them. Ah! Beautiful. They're like cream, gray, light green, white. Ugh. Oh my God. I literally freaking love sneakers and these are so beautiful. Um. I'm ecstatic. They're the 5740s. And I paid too much for them. I paid way too much for them. I'm gonna change this right now! 
I mean, you can't tell me nothing in my new shoes. The region is they grew their bridges uh, from trees, so they intentionally plant trees so nice, along these river corridors. <laughs> wait for these so nice summer weather trees to grow, and it's then take day. their root systems. That this is what I like to call the laziest girl in the world's grilled cheese sandwich. concentration hey you guys it's monday it's monday i have a day off um i'm gonna cut a mango right now because it's one of the hardest tasks known to known known to mankind and i want to get it over with early in the day if you have a mango cutting tip let me know um my co-worker one of them is Cambodian and one of them is Filipino and they're like, oh, you're buying white people mangoes. That's why it sucks when you cut them. Mm, cheek. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry, did you see my, my open air pajama look? <laughs> I really have to throw these away. Um, <clears throat> they're like, these are white people mangoes. You need like the yellow ones that are long because the pit the pit is smaller. I was like, okay. So I have the white person mango. I don't know what to tell you. And <laughs> I'm going to try to cut it. And what I read online yesterday was you're supposed to have it stem side up a quarter inch from the stem and then slice down. Yesterday, that did not work at all. Like, at all. I wonder, so you could cut it like this stem side up or like this, like the oblong side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to Google it. Fuck, I think I cut it down like this, not like this. Ugh, I don't know which way. Maybe it is like this. I actually just asked Instagram because I'm a fucking dumbass. You know what the only point of Instagram is? Is to crowdsource. Legit. <sighs> what should I do today? I think I might meet Rebecca Eats Books. Um, she's in Portland and I don't know if she's in Portland yet. She seemed far away yesterday. She seemed like she was in Idaho, but she said she was gonna be here today. We were like, oh, let's get coffee and look at a book. So we might do that um, if she's here. I haven't heard from her yet. And then I think maybe I might go to the Valley Village in Beaverton to look for used books because it fucking slaps. <laughs> Kiki has to work, so I don't know what he's doing. Okay, one, one person voted because people have fucking lives. And they said skinny, so I'm going skinny. I'm going a quarter inch from the fucking stem. I'm going all the way down, okay? <gasps> it worked! I'm a fucking genius. <gasps> Such a low reward fruit, honestly. Like, I don't really believe in buying packaged fruit unless it's like an emergency. But for mango, like you don't get a lot of the fruit out. Fuck yeah. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Hi guys. It's a uh, beautiful day in Portland, Oregon it turned out. And I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> and it's 5 p.m. I actually just got home from meeting Rebecca. From Rebecca Eats Books. We went to the Pals on Hawthorne and walked around for like an hour and it was lovely and we forgot to take any pictures with each other. There's absolutely no proof that this encounter happened except in our hearts but we did buy each other one book and the book that she bought me was In the Distance by Hernan Diaz. She, backwards, <laughs> she recently just finished reading this he just came out with that new book called trust which i know jaylen is liking i don't think trust sounds like it's for me it's like about money or something 
but this is about westerns and the desert. I'm there for that. And it has a French flap. And the second book I got, which if you watch my books I'm anticipating video I recently put up, is called We Had to Remove This Post by Hannah Bervowitz. This is about the internet and a moderator for some social media company, blur filing ma, light dystopian techie vibes. You know I love that shit. And I also bought a gold nugget mandarin. <laughs> Haul, nugget haul. Uh, I'm gonna sit on the couch. Yeah, it's a set. It's a set. I got this from Target. I, I have tons of pajamas, as you've seen, if you watch the vlogs or my videos at all. But I don't have a lot of short sets, and a lot of the short sets that are sold are like a t-shirt, and that doesn't work with me in my pajama wardrobe. Like it needs to be a button-up for me to feel like I'm wearing a matching pajama set. Um, so I think I'm gonna buy more colors of these because they're super lightweight, airy, I just think it's like an Arizona pajama vibe. Back in the kitchen! <laughs> My whole vlog this week has just been me standing right here. Not very fun. Sorry guys. I'm gonna sign off the vlog. It's May 31st. We move in 18 days. We're meeting some friends for a goodbye dinner tonight. For someone else. Yeah, but we're co-opting it. <laughs> it's gonna be our going away, going away dinner too. Um, I think the videos are gonna be sporadic in June, lads. I really do. I think we're gonna do a May wrap up. I know we're gonna do the Sunny's Book Club at the end of the month with Ariel Delgado Dixon. But between that and moving, I don't think much else is gonna happen. And that's okay. Um, I need to think about what July pick for the Sunny's Book Club we wanna choose. I don't know yet. <laughs> I have no inklings. Am I allowed to pick a book that I haven't read yet? Or is that illegal? Do you think for book club, I can pick a book I haven't read yet either? Or it has to be one I've already picked and liked and vetted. A little risky, but- I know it is risky. Cute. I don't, Jalen has a book club and he, he picks some that he hasn't read before. Yeah, I really don't know what to do about that. Um, I'm trying to read. Do we do another novel? Do we do a short story collection? Do we do a collection of essays? I kind of want to do that new LVO Wilk collection of essays. I need to see that release date and see if that lines up with, with a July a July vibe. I'm gonna be shipping everything from Arizona. Oh my God. Oh, let me know if you have any visions for this Sunday's July book club. Do we do novel novel? Do we do a collection of essays? I think it might be good to switch it up. Very weird, very, very weird. Okay, love you guys. <laughs> Have a good week.